Merlin Chain is going to completely revolutionize the BRC20 token space. If you don't know what Merlin Chain is, you need to watch this video. Hello and welcome to Black Box Trading. I am your host, JT, and here on the channel, we focus on all things Bitcoin both fundamental and technical analysis. Today is gonna to be a little bit more of a fundamental show and a little bit of my thesis for the announcement of the brand new Merlin chain. This is a game changer. Bitcoin is about to have its kind of Uniswap moment. Bitcoin DeFi is about to go crazy. So let's just jump into it. But before we do that, just as a quick reminder, Go check out the website linked down below. That's blackbox.pro, B-L-K-B-O-X.pro. Sign up for your free Bitcoin trading bot. Buy the bottoms, sell the tops, never miss a move again with Blackbox. Furthermore, if you would like to support the channel, check out the exclusive Blackbox link down below. If you sign up for BitGet Exchange, you could receive up to $8,000 in sign up bonuses. Okay, let's talk about Merlin Chain. Merlin. Merlin's seal, the biggest fair launch of layer two. So we've been hearing a ton of layer two stuff. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have been fading all of it. Uh, none of it has really gotten me excited. Nothing has really shown me that they really care about the, the core of what Bitcoin and ordinals are. Uh, a lot of paid bullshit, a lot of shield projects, a lot of stuff saying that they're launching on Bitcoin. Uh, but then they go and they have their token on Ethereum. This is different. Uh, this is basically, in my opinion, this is Bitcoin's DeFi moment. We are going to see full-blown DeFi uh, begin to develop on the Bitcoin network. And I think Merlin Seal is going to be integral to that beginning to take shape. We're going to see a lot of other competitors come out as a result of this. But this is a breakthrough in ordinal innovation. So, um, you know we can talk about uh you know the allocation honestly at this point i do personally feel that the the demand for this token uh launch is a little too high um and we'll get into a little bit more about my thought process on that um a little bit more uh later on in the video but i do think that uh you know i am much more bullish on this application than I am necessarily the the short term price protect, uh, potential of the Merl token, the M E R L token, uh, which is going to be the governance token for this protocol. But I am super super bullish on this app. Um, so M points, it's basically going to be a point system. We're finally going to get some form of yield in the Bitcoin network. Yield is one of the biggest drivers of demand. If people think that they can get yield through staking, they're going to just buy the asset just so that they can stake it so that they can get another coin. It's kind of like an airdrop in a sense, like the demand for airdrops is huge in crypto. The demand for yield of a, a governance token is, is huge in crypto. We saw this last cycle with Ethereum projects like Aave, Compound, um, Uniswap, uh, SushiSwap, all of these areas where you could build liquidity pools and receive a yield we saw huge huge demand for that and that's what's looking like is going to happen here um there's an interesting they go through the calculation of the points it's based off of a daily snapshot of the usd value of the assets in the pool um merlin seal supports ordinals not the opposite so this is what i was saying at the beginning of the show you know you see a lot of these layer twos on bitcoin but they're ethereum projects you know they're supporting ethereum it's we need a layer two that is for bitcoin it's for ordinal inscriptions it's for brc20 tokens and that's exactly what merlin is uh wanting to build for us not only that but it's going to introduce the ability to have a stable coin which is going to be huge for the ecosystem I'm not a big fan of stable coins, but I understand that a lot of people want stable coins. They want to have that safe haven. They want to have the ability to sell their Bitcoin, sell their ordinals and put it into Tether or put it into USDC. Uh, so you're going to see a ton of liquidity come into this layer here. So supported assets for stage one. This is what's got me very, very excited. Um, Bitcoin, obviously. Uh, BRC20 tokens, Ordi, SATs, BTCs, RATs, MMSS. 
uh, A-I-N-N, R-C-S-V, Mice, and Track. Uh, for those who have been paying attention, you know, we got into Track at 30 cents. We got into Sats before it even had a price. Um, very excited to see some of these tickers uh, being offered as, you know, assets for the phase one liquidity pool for Merlin. This is a super hyped project. This is going to create intense demand. Um, then I saw this and I got even more excited. Bitmaps. Bitmaps is my number one pick. That is my number one pick for this cycle. I think bitmaps are going to be huge and every single phase of this market cycle development further brings me to that conclusion that bitmaps are going to be huge. Highly recommend, not financial advice, just some dude on the fucking internet, but I, I'm telling you, bitmaps are going to be huge. Um, and then, yeah, Ethereum, Tether, USDC, um, you know, and then in other stages, they're going to bring anything, really. You know, it'll it'll probably end up being a little bit more decentralized. It's clearly starting out very centralized, you know, disclaimer. A lot of ordinal stuff starts out centralized. That's just the nature of the beast. But uh, as this moves forward, maybe, you know, it'll react more like a Uniswap where you just have like a, a contract address, an inscription genesis address or something where you can just input your own token data. There may or may not be a liquidity pool for it. That's the one interesting thing about uh, BRC20 tokens and uh, ordinal inscriptions in, in general is creating liquidity is actually quite difficult and does require a higher level of organization. I personally think that that's a good thing. But anyways, I digress. Um, supported wallets, Unisat. A lot of you are already hooked up on that if you've been watching the channel for a while. OKX wallet. I believe this app, don't quote me. Actually, let me know if you can confirm this fact in the comments section down below. I believe that this is an OKX project. OKX, fantastic exchange. Links below if you want to support the channel. Please sign up for an OKX account. You'll be able to get an OKX wallet. And this will be uh, enabled for uh, this Merlin app when it's uh when it's launched then you can increase your rewards money talks man money talks so you know uh, one btc you get a 0.1 percent boost on your uh yields five btc 0.2 percent boost i do like that they have this diminishing value so it's not like you know if you're a mega whale you don't get huge huge benefits you have to contribute 100 btc if you want to have a 1.2 percent boost that's not unreasonable that's not unreasonable at all um i like that they give you the most value uh pound for pound at one btc that's cool um how m tokens work it's going to be some sort of governance token uh those of you who have been watching the channel for a while you you know my stance on a lot of the governance tokens um you know utility dependent is it's very very important to understand what the utility is of this a lot of you uh, governance tokens uh, rely on gas for utility, but that kind of becomes a gas token. Uh, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, more to be developed with that. But yeah, very, very excited. Let's take a look at the timeline. So phase one is starting this month. We're starting this month. This is going to, uh, or I guess, okay, so this is the initial stake. This is the initial stake claiming and then release the release will be by the having oh it's going to be on the having day oh guys i'm telling you this <laughs> this bull market is going to be very different from other bull markets i just have a lot of fundamental reasons why i think that there are a lot of technical reasons why i think that and there are a lot of demand based reasons for why i think that this is going to go live on the having. We're going to have a huge DeFi moment on Bitcoin. I have no idea how long this bull market's going to last. I do tend to stay on the conservative side of things. So I'm still looking at, you know, late 2024 to early 2025. But with something like this, that is pushing my timeline down a little bit. I'm thinking early to mid 2025 with something like this. Very good news. Um, yeah, this is, I'm, I couldn't be more excited. Let's actually take a look at the beginning of the app. Now, full disclosure, I am not going to be contributing to this application right now. I am not going to be allocating sats. I am not going to be allocating any BRC20 tokens. I am not going to be participating on the early stages of this project at all. 
okay? Why? Because it's new. It's new. And I have seen in the past things break. I have a lot of confidence that this is not going to be one of those applications that break. But I also just, I hold large positions and things that I think have a lot of value. So I'm not going to allocate anything. I'm not going to stake anything right now. I just want to let you guys know, you know, do your own due diligence and make your own financial decisions. If everything works out, hey, you're going to get an allocation of Merle. But uh, I'm happy to just use the app. I'm very, very excited for the app. I'm very excited for the liquidity pools. I don't necessarily need to get one of the earliest positions in the actual Merle token. So for me personally, I'm not going to be contributing to this, but uh, what a what a really cool application. So very fundamental video, not what we typically do. We typically look at charts. We typically get into the nitty gritty. So if that's the kind of content that you guys are used to, I'm sorry, this was very just no, I want to bring this to your attention. And there's really nothing that I can look at. There is no Merle token. There is no charting. There's no analysis, but telling you, pay attention to this project. When I get loud, listen, I have been wrong. I have been right about the biggest moves in the space. I have been right about the biggest moves in the ordinal space specifically. A lot of stuff has been boring me. I have not cared about anything for months now. I'm telling you, this is going to be a huge, huge moment for Bitcoin. It's going to be a huge moment for the ordinal space. That's enough FOMO. That's enough FOMO for today. Um, I'm going to leave the links down below. You can check out the Medium article so that you can make your own decisions. You can check out the application if you want to stake. Again, letting you know I'm not, but hey, do your own due diligence. Make your own decisions. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with anybody that you think would find value from this. Don't forget to check out blackbox.pro. That is B-L-K-B-O-X.pro, QR code popping up at the top of the screen right now um, and sign up for your free Bitcoin trading bot. Never miss a move again with Black Box. And until next time, please trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.